a seven-day-old baby with bilateral club feet. The feet were in varus, adduction, and severe quinus. There was a deep crease across the sole of the foot, one above the heel and one over the calf. These creases are seen in the complex club foot. Possibly they are caused by the severe contracture of the gastrosoleus and plantar intrinsic muscles of the foot. After gentle manipulation, plaster casts were applied with the feet in 70 degrees of equinus and the forefeet in 50 degrees of supination. A week later, the foot adduction was improved. The equinus, heel varus, and the cavus persisted. The feet were manipulated again. The index finger is placed over the posterior aspect of the lateral malleolus, while the thumb comes to rest over the lateral side of the head of the talus in front of the ankle, not over the very prominent anterior tuberosity of the calcaneus. Generally, the foot is abducted. The index finger and thumb are kept in the same position while the cotton and plaster bandages are applied. The plaster cast is well molded. A plaster splint is placed over the knee in 120 degrees of flexion to prevent the slippage of the cast. A similar plaster cast is applied to the right foot. A plaster splint is placed over the calf and sole to avoid excessive plaster in front of the ankle. I place my thumbs under the metatarsals to dorsiflex the foot and correct the cavus. With my fingers, I molded the cast around the ankle. In the second cast, the feet are in 20 degrees of abduction and 30 degrees of equinus. The heel varus was corrected. The casts were removed one week later. All the components of the deformity had been corrected except for 20 degrees of cavus and equinus. The tendo Achilles was tied. Under local anesthesia, the tendon was sectioned on both feet. The feet could now be dorsiflexed 20 degrees. New plaster casts were applied with the feet in 15 degrees of dorsiflexion, the cavus corrected, and the knees in 90 degrees of flexion. Three weeks later, the plantar creases were shallow. Motion in the subtalar and ankle joints was normal. A foot abduction of orthosis was applied. The shoes are in 30 degrees of our rotation. One month later, after the tenotomy, the feet look and move normally. The telocalcaneal motion is normal. The feet can be dorsiflexed 15 degrees. There are no creases above the heel, and the plantar creases are, have nearly disappeared. The orthosis will be worn 16 hours a day.